Poop. Yo ho bro and welcome to the show. Yo ho bro and welcome to the show. We are back here at FTBBBB Mod and we are going to get started in the base area of the Glowing Isles and we are going to jump right into building the giant tree in the center. So, cool thing about building these type of organic designs is that you really, really can't screw it up too badly. Since a tree is rather misshapen, or beautifully misshapen, I should say, it's, it's, it's extremely easy in order to actually build these types of, type of things. You just ha kind of have to just build in a in certain, um, certain direction you don't really actually need to build in in the in a perfect circle or perfect straight line it, it just needs to have a certain amount of mass to it because right here this is going to be the base of my tree right here so you can see that it's it's not it's not a perfect circle i tried to do a perfect circle and i was just like nope don't care so this guy is going to cut into this tree just a bit here. So let's cut off all these leaves. And the fun thing about trees, uh, if you've ever watched the appendices inside of Lord of the Rings where they tell about uh, how, they, uh, how they made the movie and whatnot, there's a small section in there where they uh, talk about how to actually form a tree. That someone in someone there was just like you know what we need to uh, we need to give them uh, our our studio an actual book here's how to here's how to make trees and and the fun thing is is that the root of the tree the base where it touches the ground is going to be the widest portion all the roots and everything above the ground is tapering off awesome there we go you out good and now we got the base of a root I'm gonna add on a bit more a um, bit more chisel and bits I'm gonna uh, like put a log here and then cut it back a little bit and the next one cut it back a little bit just uh, and have possibly like uh, some floaty dirt right here just cut off pieces of dirt as though they're falling off the edge of this thing Yeah, that's looking good all right I will cut here and you will start to see some progression. Unfortunately, I can't really do a time lapse. I would love to do one with a second account, but I do not have a second account. Yeah, it's looking good. All right, I'm going to cut back to when we have most of the base. Oh shoot, this is supposed to lean to the left. Yeah, I'll 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 cut. See you in a couple seconds. So, funny thing. I was thinking to myself, man, I wish I could get rid of this facing on these sides of the logs. And then it hit me. I'm inside of modded Minecraft. So what I can do, kind of, is I can make these uh, jungle bark. But unfortunately, it takes nine jungle bark in order to make two bark. So it's something that's going to be used sparingly. But uh, wood is something that's easily recreated. So, got 14 blocks here, and I can cover up most of these faces here. So, yeah, those blocks of bark are looking good. I need to get some more on the other side, but yeah, that thing is looking pretty good. I might be going a little bit too wide right here, but I'm going to keep going. And of course, this Minecraft, you can always fix what you put down I wanted to make sure that I uh, kept in this uh, little mistake here to show you what uh, I meant by uh, tapering off um, you see down here from the base where it's the widest and then it comes all the way up to the, to the top here this left branch off to off to the left uh, is growing in its its size and um, it, it needs to be tapering off because um, if you compare that point right there to the to the rest of the trunk it's actually growing in size and it needs to be uh, it needs to be having a gradual uh, shrink down in its uh, circumference from the rest of the trunk so what I need to do is I need to um, 
come over here. I'm just gonna take a little bit off, <laughs> uh, basically being a barber here, just taking a little bit off of the, the top portion of its branch here and cut it back a bit. Okay, yep, I'm <laughs> glad that uh, the ring that gives me flying actually negates all fall damage. So, awesome. Yeah, that should, yeah, that should be fine. Maybe, maybe just cut off a little bit more, just to, uh, just to, uh, just to be on the safe side. Plus, I'm also gonna have to put these uh, bark blocks on top of these uh, spots. So if that's good, I need to come back at least one block more on all of these spots. So just put them right there, and this should be perfect. There we go. Now things are looking a bit better. Awesome. Alright, so I think that's good. Um, next step is I'm going to have to put in the leaves. Uh, but I'm thinking, now that I'm looking at this again, I might need to come up a little bit more on this side and also give the... Uh, maybe... I'm gonna have to compare it to the rest of the jungle trees. But yeah, take this guy up just a little bit more, just to give it a bit of space from the uh, the left uh, biggest branch here. Yeah, I'll go over there and uh, compare it with the, the rest of the jungle trees. And uh, see how it's looking. So, coming to think about it, comparing this guy to that guy, um, the, the height is okay, but I'm thinking that I'm gonna need put a little bit more um, a little bit more thickness to that uppermost branch Either that or have some uh, leaves kind of sprouting out from the in the center point uh, just to uh, yeah we need gonna need a little bit more thickness um, also studying the uh, shape of this leaves here of how I'm supposed to make just kind of like a little plumage up there what type of shape I want to do yeah I think that's what I got to do. I'm going to grab some leaves and I'm going to add a little bit more uh, base to the top of that guy right there. Alright, so this is what I'm doing with uh, the leaves. Basically, I'm just making a giant plus sign and then I'm coming along here and diagonally uh, filling everything in. Now that the leaves go beyond this point, but the, uh, the sides grow a little bit bigger. Looking at this guy right now, it looks like I just need to add in two more blocks in it should be actually symmetrical. I wasn't aiming for that, but that's what I what I apparently got. Um, but yeah, it, it gives it a nice uh, uh, Minecrafty uh, plumage of of leaves, which is nice. I need to add in a few more branches to hold up all of those things because uh, these that is a lot of leaves for just that one center point. And maybe a couple more because I got I got a little bit more base there, but um, yeah. Need a little bit more about that base. And yeah. I was going through a bunch of shears when I was trying to get uh, leaves, and I realized that I was an idiot. I need to get these guys, these uh, shears of winter. Uh, it's just two diamonds, a regular pair of shears, and this frozen core. This, this is the easiest thing to get. I just built a snowman, and I. Um, where is it gone? Oh, right, wrong button. Uh, yeah, just kill the snowman, and the first one I got, the first one I killed, I got the got the heart. So it's not too uh, not too expensive, and it doesn't run out of any durability. It's completely indestructible. Awesome! So I might be a little bit hypocritical, but uh, as I was forming in this area, I said, oh man, these vines are beautiful, but they're all in the way. And what did I go do? But um, I went around this area going, hey, this tree needs a little bit more of something. What can I put on it? Hey, I might as well add some more vines onto it. Because <laughs> these little tufts of tree, uh, leaves that I put along the side here didn't seem like enough. They were good, but uh, they needed a little bit more, so I added some more, uh, I added some vines on it. Let them grow, and it looks amazing. I love how this looks. I needed a, um, uh, a good lighting solution around here, so I took the Tinker's Construct uh, lighting ability for the tools, and I just I'm slowly changing over the torches 
to this uh, little uh, almost invisible glowing orb and it looks fantastic. So I was trying to think of uh, little ways that I could uh, make this place look a little bit more alive and while I hate bugs and especially bugs that might be this big um, these little ants actually help a lot to, to bring this uh, little jungle place a little bit more jungly. But gosh, I hate bugs. Also, another thing that I've been doing with the chisel and bits is that I finally figured out a rope mechanism for supports <laughs> um, that um, I'm going to use uh, around this place. I have basically here is a, a vine rope. Um, it's a darker green than the rest of the the vines because of course it's been cut off by its roots so it's uh, starting to, to dry out but as it dries out it gets some it gets some strength so I, it looks cool got these little spindly things on here that didn't say hey this was a rope made out of vines and I think it looks really cool it's uh, just green wool Unfortunately, though, it's put together block by block, so this <laughs> this one strand took me forever in order to make. So I, I've got to figure out a better solution for it, but for right now, yeah, that, that's a fantastic idea of what I want to do. Um, the little glory, uh, glowing orbs that I've placed around here, they have uh, started to actually give this place uh, quite a good look. I wanted to call this Glowing Isles, and finally this is starting to turn into that, where these kind of little islands kind of just radiate during, during the nighttime without the aid of torches. I haven't gotten rid of all the torches, but eventually we'll, we'll get there. I've added in some more uh, jungle bridges uh, just to get a layout of how I want this uh, place to go, and it is starting to look fantastic. So finally... Finally, things are coming to get together, what, what, six episodes in? So, stay tuned. Things are going to get uh, a lot bigger. Alright, so, what I want to do is take this uh, island, as you can see up in the right-hand corner, that this is the really bad place, and I want to turn this into a, a, a an evil den of lifeless energy. So, to do that, we're going to use this little drop of evil. Um... As far as I understand it, it does not spread on anything but dirt, and it cannot spread on dirt that has water over it, so this place should be completely safe. Um, but don't know about this version of it, and we're going to start the corruption process of this place. Go. Okay. Yeah, and nothing's spawning. I mean, nothing spawns during the daytime in this version. Huh. Get closer? Maybe? No. Okay, so during the daytime, things don't spawn on this thing, but they did spawn during the uh, nether while you're over there, but of course it was uh, dark enough over there. Uh, and it also doesn't seem to be spreading off to the left here. No? Why? Um, well, I guess it, uh, I'm gonna need some more drops of evil in order to completely corrupt this place, in order to turn it into a, a, a den of evil. But, okay, well, I'll just use this, uh, second drop here. Uh, somewhere over here, ish. Uh, no, not next to it. Maybe, yeah, we'll just put it free, right here for right now. I need to get more, more of this stuff anyways. Good guy, that stuff is creepy. Oh, it's getting nighttime. I gotta get out of here. Uh, but, is anything gonna spawn? There's my boat. There's my boat. Anything gonna spawn? No? Nothing? Oh, hey, Moonstone. Moonstone. Oh, I gotta come back for that with a sick touch pit and sick touch pick. Oh, do 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 do. Oh, is anything spawning? Can't see. Oh, oh, there's something. I think that's something. Ooh. Oh, oh, there's there's one. Oh, there's actually something. Ooh. And it gets nighttime, and things, red dots appear everywhere on the map. 
Ooh boy. Yeah, we're just gonna get the hell out of here. Going, going, gone. Wow, that is a lot of mobs. I'm gonna get myself a mob scar. That's what I'm gonna do next episode. I'm needing a mob spawner. So maybe I'll make one with this um, and get some uh, flowing resources, but I also need to get a um, resource manager. Oof, still a lot of things that I need to do for this episode, especially um, for the series, not just for this episode. This episode is actually starting to wind down. Uh, if there's time, we're going to go exploring. Otherwise, we are just... Uh, can they swim fast? They can run fast. Can they swim fast, though? Uh, we're not taking the chance. We're just going back. Back home! Screw this place. Yeah, if there's time, we're going to go exploring. So, it does turn out that I do have a little bit of time in order to do some exploring. So, we head off into a direction that is not a main cardinal direction. Uh, in a black spot, and we run into... The first thing we see is this place that has uh, these uh, chestnut horses. Black dots, no white socks, no markings on the head. This is the exact pretty horse that I use for my episodes. Uh, I, I thought it was kind of cool. I gotta mark this on the map and uh, come back for these guys, grab some uh, ender bottles and bottle them up. Easiest way to bring bring them back. But yeah, I gotta get bring this uh, pretty horse on back to the uh, uh, back onto the, to the base. Hello. What's this? A red sandstone block? Huh. I think that's a vanilla block. I mean, there's been so much updates to uh, vanilla that I have no idea, but this, this is different. These, um, these mesa spikes, they're not, they're not big. They're not, um, they're just kind of little upshoots, two little upshoots. This is an interesting area. I mean, I'm looking for an area that I would, uh, start working on that would, uh, peak something that I could, um, uh, distract myself with, uh, from, uh, the, uh, current glowing isles. I mean, I, um, ooh, uh, bees? Yeah, bees. Okay. Uh, get out of here. But yeah, this, this might be an area that I could, uh, I could also start in. Yeah. I mean, these weird mesa things right next to this water, tropical tree, this is, this is a r really beautiful area. I have no idea what I would do with it, but it's really beautiful. I like it. No, I, I might take this this area instead. Just these the short little mesa spikes coming out of the water. I mean, that's that's a fantastic sight right there. What would I do? I have no idea. So I was gonna see if I could at least get into another zone, but seriously, this tropical savanna is going on forever. I mean, this place is just as big as a a, a cold tega. Or something like that. Those are the biggest zones that I've I've ever seen. I mean, this place is huge, fantastically huge. Uh, yeah, I guess this is the only uh, zone we're gonna actually explore for right now because I'm I'm running out of time for this episode. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to um, uh, start heading on back home, and we will end this episode back at the Glowing Isles. All right, everybody, we are back at our base just in time for a uh, moon sunrise color. That is really a, a weird sight right there, but kind of really awesome next to our uh, now a new tree that we built. So, um, hey, let me know what you think of uh, the episode or down in the comments, uh, and I will see you all next time.